Hello and welcome to DJ's Movie Reviews. I make short movie reviews for people with short attention spans. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, tap that notification bell so that you can get content as it comes out. Leave a comment and let me know what you want for me to review next. So with this being episode 15, I decided to go ahead and make this a very special movie. A classic in its own right, the 1979 movie, The Warriors. So let's go ahead and start with our director. This movie was directed by Walter Hill, who has been in the directing game for quite a while, helming such films as 48 Hours, Brewster's Millions, Crossroads, Red Heat, Last Man Standing, and Bullet to the Head. He has also produced every Aliens movie ever made to include Alien vs. Predators 1 and 2, also Prometheus and Covenant. The stars of this movie are as follows. Michael Beck from The Grace of Jake, James Remar from USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage, Deborah Van Valkenburg from The Devil's Rejects, David Patrick Kelly from The Crow, the late Marcelino Sanchez from 48 Hours, Brian Tyler from Vamp Bikers, Dorsey White from Hair, David Harris from Quicksilver, Terry Meechus from The Great Skycopter Rescue, the late Roger Hill from The Education of Sonny Carson, the late Lynn Thigpen from Blank Men, and Mercedes Rule from Hustlers. The plot of this movie is that the armies of the night number 100,000. They outnumber the police five to one. And tonight, they're after the Warriors. A short synopsis of this movie is as follows. Nine delegates from 100 gangs meet up to hear from Cyrus, the president of the biggest gang in New York, the Gramercy Riffs. And halfway through his speech, however, Cyrus is murdered and the blame is put on the Warriors. During the remainder of the movie, after escaping from the park where the event had happened, the Warriors are relentlessly hunted by the other gangs that are trying to take them out and deliver them to Cyrus's gang. All they need to do is get on the train and go the 27 miles to Coney Island and they'll be safe, they hope. So what I think, this movie was fantastic as I was growing up. It had everything in it that could pique my interest, such as gangs, mild violence, and uh, a decent sense of life and death. Once you see the first five minutes of this movie, you realize that all of these gangs have a very strict dress code. And they have to dress the same, but in some cases, the costumes themselves are ridiculous. From the boppers dressed as pimps, to the furies dressed like clowns in baseball uniforms, to the Turnbull ACs that are basically just skinheads wearing bowling shirts. Even the warriors have a vest that says warriors on the back, and they also wear blue jeans which is very motorcycle gang, minus the motorcycle. Even though the costumes are outrageous, the action and the story are interesting and exciting. The slow moments are jam-packed with tension, the pace of the story is just right, and when it goes down, the fights are very violent and entertaining. As you go through the story with the warriors, you can feel the tension as they make their way through the street, where every alleyway could spell death. From the fights with the Furies and the Orphans to the setup with the Lizzies, which by the way, the Lizzies is an all-girl gang, to the final showdown with the Rogues in Coney Island. Every encounter whittles away at the numbers of the Warriors present. They started with nine, and they came back with six. The nitty-gritty of this review is that for the time, the acting was pretty good. The look was good, and the wardrobe matched the time perfectly. The not so good is that when the movie was re-released later on, I think in the, in the late uh, 90s, early 2000s, the production company inserted comic book wipes that, for lack of a better term, just screwed up the whole flow of the movie. Between the scenes, the film gets switched to a comic book cell, moves over to another scene, and then changes the film back to real. So it's, it, it took time out of the story for no reason. All in all, this was a great movie, and I revisit it on a very regular basis. Look for it on Amazon Prime Video. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like gang movies, the 70s fighting and action, then this movie is a, a good pick. I'm giving it four out of five stars. 
All of the movies that I mentioned are in the details portion of this video. So feel free to go down there, click on one, discover a new film to add to your collection. Feel free to click purchase any movie that you see there that you so desire. Other than that, subscribe, like, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment so we can talk about this movie or any movie that you think that I should see and review. Thank you very much for joining me again for this video. Hope to do 15 more. See you again from DJ's Movie Reviews.